Hello everyone. My name is Mac Bullard and I am the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. And on behalf of the Superintendent and Board of Education, I want to welcome you to the Bibb County School District. You are joining a great organization and we are excited to have you as a member of our team. We like to begin everything that we do by stating our mission and our vision because it is truly what we work daily to achieve. The mission of the Bibb County School District is to develop a highly trained staff and engaged community dedicated to educating each student for a 21st century global society. And it is our vision that each student demonstrates strength of character and is college or career ready. You are now an important part of that mission and your work, no matter what school or department, will help us to fulfill our vision and we will get there together. Once again, we're excited to have you a part of our team. You've made a great decision. Now let's work together to fulfill our vision by creating even more victory in our schools. Welcome. Your Human Resources Department is here to help you along the way as you begin your new career and during your career. If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to reach out to us. We have provided the names, the position we hold within HR, and the email for each person in HR. Welcome to Technology Services. When you log into a Bibb County School District computer, you will be using Active Directory. This can be thought of as a service that allows you to be authorized to use the BCSD network. Use the following the first time you log in. Your username will be firstname.lastname and the password will be capital B, lowercase csd, your two-digit birth month and your two-digit birthday. Note the B in the password is capitalized. For example, Beverly Smith's birthday is January 10th. Her username will be Beverly.Smith and the password will be capital B lowercase csd 0110. You will be prompted to change the password once you log in for the first time. You will be using Microsoft Outlook for your email and Office 365. Add at bcsdk12.net to your first name dot last name for your email address. For example, beverly.smith at bcsdk12.net. Your email address and your Active Directory password is your login to your Microsoft Office 365 account. For assistance, call the Technology Help Desk at 478-765-8659 or see your media specialist. The Bibb County School District uses ClassLink as our single sign-on application. All faculty, students, and staff use this to access our web resources. You can locate the icon for ClassLink on the desktop of your computer. Your login will be your Active Directory username and password. Infinite Campus is our student information system. This is where you will enter grades, see your class roster, or locate general student information. Parents and students have a portal to Infinite Campus so they can keep up with grades. Your user ID will be your first name dot last name and the password will be set by Campus Help and emailed to you. Contact your school's registrar or Campus Help at bcsdk12.net for additional assistance. The Bibb County School District homepage is located at www.bcsdk12.net. Here you will find links to departments, employee apps, parent-student information, as well as our Facebook and Twitter. 
For additional technology assistance, please contact the Technology Help Desk at 478-765-8659. This is April Thomas, Salary Specialist for the Bibb County School District. Monthly employees are paid on the last working day of each month. Semi-monthly employees are paid on the 15th and the last working day of each month. New hires will receive one to two hard copy printed checks before receiving direct deposit into your designated bank account. Failure to submit proper documentation may delay direct deposit setup. Direct deposit information needs to be submitted to the payroll department. Employee self-service can be accessed through the district website under employees. The default username is your five digit employee ID and the password is the last four of your social. This will allow you to view your pay stubs and your W-2 form. No paper W-2 will be provided to employees in January. Additional compensation for other responsibilities such as coaching, extended day, or extended year supplements will be processed after the necessary paperwork has been submitted to the human resources by the respective supervisor. Employees who are hired after the first contract day will receive prorated pay. Hello and welcome to the Bibb County School District. I'm Katrina Swindle, Coordinator of Employee Benefits. I will be providing you with a brief overview of the benefits package you and your qualified dependents are eligible for now that you've decided to begin your career with the district. I hope you enjoy your virtual session, but I do look forward to meeting you in person. You will have 31 days from your employment start date to enroll in benefits. However, for payroll purposes, the benefits office will provide an earlier deadline. Please note that you will not be able to make your selections for benefits until after your employment start date. For example, if your start date is July the 31st, you will be able to enroll after that date. Your benefits will begin the first of the month following the first calendar month worked. For example, if your hire date is November the 3rd of 2020, your benefits will be effective on January the 1st, 2021. If your hire date is December the 2nd of 2020, your benefits will be effective on February the 1st, 2021. All premiums for employee benefits are payroll deducted the month prior to your coverage effective date. For semi-monthly employees, payroll deductions for benefits will be split between both payroll checks each month. The coverage you select during your new hire process will cover you through the end of 2020 and cannot be changed. Changes are allowed during open enrollment. Unless you have a qualifying life event, you may be able to change your coverage. These events allow changes within 31 days of the events. Some examples are marriage, divorce, birth, death, loss, and gain of coverage. Open enrollment is typically mid-October through early November for January 1st coverage. During open enrollment, all benefits eligible employees, which includes you, receive an open enrollment packet and are allowed to make changes. And we ask that all employees participate in open enrollment each year, including new hires, even if you do not wish to make changes. You're now offered coverage through State Health Benefit Plan. State Health Benefit Plan offers coverage through three different vendors, Anthem, United Healthcare, and Kaiser Permanente. On the next several slides, I will show you information regarding these specific plans. Anthem offers HRA plans with three levels, the bronze, silver, and gold. The prescription coverage is exactly the same on all three plans, but starting with the bronze plan, which is the lowest cost, and increasing to the higher plans, which are the silver and gold, those have higher rates, you will notice the annual deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum will decrease as you go up in the plans. This slide shows the bronze plan, the deductible, the out-of-pocket maximum. Anthem also offers the silver plan, and on this slide you will see the 
deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum for the silver plan. The most expensive level of the Anthem HRA plan is the gold plan. With this plan, you will see the lowest deductible and the lowest out-of-pocket maximum out of the three HRA plans. This one is the most expensive. The three levels of the Anthem HRA plan, the bronze, silver, and gold, all have built-in HRA credits which are placed into the plan on the coverage effective date for first dollar usage during the plan year. These credits are used to offset your medical expenses and you may add funds by participating in the Be Well SHBP program to earn wellness incentives. Mid-year enrollments have, have prorated credits based on the months enrolled during the plan year. So the amounts that you show on this slide for HRA credits will be reduced and you will have credits based on the months you have coverage for 2020. However, when 2021 rolls around, you will have the full amount for the plan year. Anthem offers an HMO plan, which is shown on this slide. You will see the annual deductible and the out-of-pocket maximum for the year listed. The HMO plans have co-payments for visits and are, and are more traditional plans than the HRA plan. So that may be something that a lot of members consider to be the more safe traditional plans. United Healthcare also offers an HMO plan, which is listed on this slide. The annual deductible and the annual out-of-pocket maximum are exactly the same as on the Anthem HMO plan. United Healthcare and Anthem HMO plans have the same exact plan design with the same deductible and out-of-pocket maximum and the exact co-payments. So you will see on this slide that the co-payments for visits are listed for ER, urgent care, primary care, etc. Also the co-payments for prescriptions are listed on this slide. United Healthcare offers a high deductible health plan, which offers the highest deductible and the highest out-of-pocket maximum for the year. This plan also offers the lowest cost to employees for their out-of-pocket premium each month. The United Healthcare High Deductible Plan is generally designed for those who do not go to the doctor often. It does have the highest deductible and the highest out-of-pocket maximum, but it also has the least cost. It's the least expensive plan. The Kaiser HMO plan is only offered to employees who live in the metro Atlanta area. There is no annual deductible. The out-of-pocket maximum is listed on this slide and also the co-payments for each visit are listed. If you are currently enrolled in TRICARE insurance, you may wish to enroll in a supplement through state health benefit plan. This is for active and retired military who currently have TRICARE. So when you go to the enrollment portal for state health, you will see the option to enroll. The premiums are listed on the screen. Now I would like to tell you about a program that is offered through State Health Benefit Plan called Be Well. You are eligible to participate in the Be Well program by first going to the website listed here on the slide and taking the real age test. Once you take the real age test, you may participate in coaching programs or monthly challenges that allow you to earn wellness incentives up to $480 for yourself and $480 for your covered spouse. 
I highly recommend that you do this. It's not a gimmick. It's a real way to put extra dollars in your health insurance account. Some people may choose to redeem their points for a gift card once they earn the full 480. However, the best deal is to use the 480 incentive credits toward your eligible medical and pharmacy expenses. I also want to let you know that once you receive your health ID card, the, a website will be listed on the back of it and I recommend that you go to that website and register so that you will be able to view your EOBs, which is your explanation of benefits. You'll be able to also review your health account to see what your balance is for your wellness incentives or your HRA account if you have one of the HRA plans. So there's just a lot of information on those sites so please go and register. Also, if you have a specified disease, you may contact ShareCare at the number provided to speak with them about participating in a program that will allow you to earn certain incentives. So please do that. Just a few last important features that I would like for you to know about your health plan. Uh, the health plan does offer telemedicine and so if you are sick, you're at home, do not feel like going to the doctor, you may log on using your smartphone or your tablet for a virtual visit. So be sure to do that if you need to. Also, I want to let you know that CVS Caremark administers our pharmacy plan. That does not mean that you have to use CVS though. ShareCare is our wellness provider, which is the company that's responsible for maintaining our well-being incentives. Once you sign in at the end of the presentation stating that you watched the video, a link to a brief Anthem video presentation will be included in your follow-up email. That will take three to five days after you view the presentation. It will explain the difference between HMO and HRA plans. Although Anthem created the video, the district does not promote Anthem over United Healthcare. Both companies offer HMO plans, but it is a great video and I strongly suggest that you watch it, especially if you're confused over HRA versus HMO. Only Anthem offers HRA plans. It is mandatory for every new hire to access the state health benefit website to either enroll in or decline health coverage. Do not worry about remembering the information that is on this slide because you will receive this flyer by email with step-by-step -step instructions. If you plan to add your family members to your health insurance, this slide is very important to you. Your legal spouse is eligible to be added and also your children and stepchildren are eligible up to age 26. State Health requires documentation to confirm your dependents. So if you elect to cover your dependents, they will be placed in a pending status until the required documentation is received. This documentation is generally a marriage license for your spouse and a birth certificate for your children. Also, you will need to provide all family members social security numbers. Upon enrollment, single coverage only will be provided. However, State Health re will request those verification documents. The request will be received by email and or U.S. mail, so please respond to the request that State Health sends as soon as possible so that your dependents will be confirmed and added. Payroll deductions for health insurance will only be made for verified dependents. If a dependent and or spouse is added to your plan and is in a pending status when the payroll deduction file is received, a payroll deduction for single coverage only will occur until you verify your dependents. At that point, the payroll office will receive an update and any adjustments will be made. Your dependents will be added back to the same coverage effective date that you were added. All local benefits, such as dental, vision, disability, and life insurance, are elected via the district's online electronic enrollment system, which is maintained by our district's benefits broker, Housing Associates. 
Please keep in mind that once you log into this website using the step-by-step -step instructions that you will receive by email, you will enter your enrollments and then you will need to make sure to re-enter your PIN number in order for your enrollments to be complete. I'm very excited to announce that beginning January the 1st of 2021, MetLife will be our new dental carrier. MetLife offers more services than our previous dental plan and also one added benefit that is very exciting is adult orthodontic. So now you may get braces yourself and you will have up to a thousand dollar benefit where previously only dependents had orthodontic coverage. Also the plan offers a preventive incentive which means that your the cost of your dental cleanings and x-rays does not go against your yearly individual maximum. So the individual maximum that the plan will pay in a year is $1,500. And just remember to keep in mind that your cleanings and x-rays are covered at 100%. You may go to house.org backslash bib for further information about the dental plan. The vision coverage that you are eligible for is through Blue Cross Blue Shield. If you select this coverage, you will have a $10 copayment as long as you stay in network with your vision provider. So that will be for your exam. You will have a $15 copayment for your lenses and frames. Frames, you have up to $120 allowance and you will receive frames once every two calendar years through this plan. Also, your lenses will be once per year. For contacts, you have a $105 allowance and up to once per year. However, you cannot file for frames and contacts in the same year, so you will have to alternate on that. If you go over the allowance, you will have a percentage off the balance. For frames, 20% and for contacts, 15%. Basic group life insurance is provided at no cost to all active benefits eligible employees. The benefit is one times your annual salary rounded up to the next thousand with a minimum of 10,000 and a maximum of 50,000. An equal amount of accidental death coverage is included with the benefit. Supplemental group coverage is available in addition to basic group life. This coverage is from one to five times annual earnings rounded to the next thousand. Guarantee issue as a new hire is up to three times earnings, which means if you enroll in one, two, or three times your salary in supplemental group life coverage, you will not have to complete a medical approval form. However, if you choose to enroll in four or five times your annual earnings, you will need to complete a medical approval form. Medical approval is required if coverage is not added as a new hire and is added during the next open enrollment period. Dependent group life coverage is available, a $5,000 benefit for your spouse and your children age 14 days to 19 years or 26 years old if full-time student. A reduced benefit of $5,000 for children age 14 days to 6 months is included with this plan. Medical approval is required for your family if coverage is not added as a new hire and is added during an open enrollment period. If both spouses work for the Bibb County School District, only one spouse may cover children on dependent group life. Beneficiary data must be listed on the Bibb benefits website for life insurance purposes. Please list at least one primary and one secondary beneficiary and both must be 18 years old. Basic group, supplemental group life, and dependent life policies are term insurance policies that are active during your employment. These must be converted to individual policies at the time of retirement or resignation in order to continue the policies. During open enrollment in the fall, Employees may enroll in whole life insurance. Whole life policies are portable at the same rates upon retirement or resignation. You may choose to enroll in the hospital indemnity plan offered through VOYA. You may choose different daily benefits. 
$100 a day, $200 or $300 a day. You may enroll in coverage for yourself only, you and your spouse, you and your children are the whole family. The rates are listed on this slide and the benefit would be paid upon the time that you're admitted into the hospital. You would fill out a claim form in order to receive this payment. Boya also offers a critical illness policy that covers certain illnesses and is designed as a lump sum policy. You may enroll in a $5,000 lump sum, $10,000 or $20,000, which would be paid if any of the covered illnesses that are listed on this slide occur. You also may file for an annual wellness benefit by completing a form that is on the HALS website, www.hals.org backslash bib. The rate for your policy would be based on your age and whether you are a tobacco user or not. You may also enroll in coverage for your spouse or children and I will give that information on the next slide. This slide shows the rates for spouse coverage and child coverage. You may also file a wellness benefit for your spouse each year, which is $100, and for your child, which is $50. Keep in mind that rates do not increase with this policy as you age up. When you enroll in these plans, you lock in at the current rate. Also, you may take this policy with you upon retirement or resignation and the rates also do not increase then. AFLAC offers both cancer and off-the-job accident policies. These policies are available and pay in addition to your health and disability insurance. The policies must be approved and issued so you are required to complete an application and a deduction authorization form to enroll you may contact the benefits office to obtain these forms. New hires transferring from other Georgia districts who have current AFLAC cancer policies may transfer the policy. Please contact Anita Sandifer at 478-972-7254 for specific details regarding AFLAC policies. Anita is available to discuss your family history and advise you as to which policy best suits your needs. Keep in mind that these policies also include a wellness benefit. For further information regarding AFLAC policies, please go to the BIB Benefits website, www.house.org backslash BIB schools. This is Carolyn Robinson, Benefits Administrator for the BIB County School District. As a district employee, you are eligible to contribute to a 403B or 457B plan on a pre-tax or post-tax basis. The notice shown on this slide will also be provided to you by email. Contact APSA Equitable or Valley AIG to start contributing today. Employee Assistance Program, known as EAP, the district provides an employee assistance program through Southern Behavior Services. This program is available to help you with personal problems that may affect your work performance. This service is confidential and is provided to you and your family at no charge. For help 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, call 478-742-1464 or toll-free 1-800-533-1797. Purchasing power. After six months of permanent employment in a benefits-eligible position, employees who earn at least $16,000 per year and have a bank account or credit card may participate in this program. The program is designed for employees to pay for purchase items through payroll deduction. Please visit www.billcountyschools.purchasingpower.com for details. Employees Wellness Center. The district offers membership to employees and their families in our Employees Wellness Center. We encourage you to visit the center located at 
2011 Riverside Drive, Macon, Georgia, and the phone number is 478-779-2524. Be sure to drop by to tour the facility before enrolling. The Wellness Center offers aerobics, fitness equipment, exercise classes, weights, etc. Monthly membership fee of $10 per person paid by payroll deduction. You can enroll at any time. Marketplace coverage notice. The district is required by the U.S. Department of Labor to provide the marketplace coverage notice. This notice will also be provided to you by email. For further details, visit www.healthcare.gov. Confirmation of new hire session attendance. This is mandatory. Please electronically sign the confirmation of new hire presentation attendance upon receiving this form by email. The confirmation acknowledges your offer of benefits and states that you must complete the online elections by the deadline provided. Mandatory sign-in. Please confirm that you have attended the virtual new hire session by signing in using the QR code or by clicking the link below. When the Benefits Office receives confirmation that you have reviewed this presentation, which will happen when you sign in using the QR code on this slide, you will receive an email which will contain the following. Link to the new hire presentation survey, links to both enrollment portals, step-by-step -step instructions for signing in to both enrollment portals, deadline to enroll in benefits, confirmation of attendance form, marketplace notice, universal availability. The Human Resources Department would like your feedback on the services provided at your presentation. Please give us your feedback by completing the three-minute Human Resources New Hire Session Survey. If you have questions and would like to attend a Q&A session, please email the Benefits Office, Carolyn Robinson or Katrina Swindle. You will receive an email invitation to attend a Microsoft Teams meeting. Include your questions to ensure the appropriate human resources team member is available to answer your questions.